All right, guys, uh, welcome to day one or the first training of the SP1 training. Wanted to go through a, a few things and, and, and do a training for you guys. A lot of people will be coming in and want to make sure that uh, my name is Jared. I'm, I'm one of the owners and founders of Brio Energy um, and really the first person to start our SP1 or lead setting program. So I wanted to make this video for you guys and make sure that everybody who comes in at least maybe sees my face a little bit. Know on Slack, you can always get a hold of me. If you message me privately, I'll always get back to you. So if you have any questions about this training or questions about me or questions I'll be more specific, whatever the questions are, feel free to reach out to me on, on Slack. Um, number one, congratulations for one, getting hired and getting on because though um, a, a lot of sales companies will just take anybody who walks in the door, that's not the way we are. So if you've been hired and, and you're ready to rock and roll, congratulations. A um, couple things I want to go through first, and, and first of all what I want to talk about is why I'm here at Brio and why I care about Brio. Um, I uh, did my own door knocking when I was younger. Um, I moved on, I started a door knocking company, it was a Dish Network Direct TV door knocking company, and then I started a, a flood and fire restoration company. And guys, to be honest, flood and fire restoration was extremely profitable for me. It was a really good business. I was making a lot of money. Um, and, and the cool thing about it was I was only working five, six hours a week. But eventually I got really bored um, because I didn't feel like in flood and fire restoration, I, was, I really didn't feel like I was doing what I'm really passionate about. And what I'm really passionate about is help, helping people change their lives and giving opportunities to people that helps them change their life. And though I was making a lot of money in flood and fire and I was, uh, and I was, I was happy and things were good, um, I wanted to get back into a business that had to do with sales, which provided an opportunity to change people's lives. Because one thing I'm really passionate about, guys, is one, changing people's lives. But number two is door-to-door. -door. I love door-to-door -door sales. It provided me an opportunity when I was younger that I didn't think I would have. I grew up very poor. Um, I grew up in trailer parks. I, I, um, I had kind of a, a real poor upbringing. And, and as, a, as a poor young man, I didn't know how I was going to make money. So when I started knocking door-to-door, um, that provided an opportunity to me that, that, that I took and I ran and I, and I did as hard as I could and I took that money and I invested it and I started businesses with that money. So that's really why I'm back with a you know, solar company or a sales organization is to help provide opportunities for, for people just like your guys' selves to really make money. So um, that, that's my thing about flood pros. Um, look, real quick on my experience with door to door. Um, when I first started knocking door to door, I'd actually started, I had tried to start a business and I had lost a lot of money doing that. I, had, I lost about $20,000. Um, I was $20,000 in debt to uh, my grandpa and I, at that time, I literally had no clue what I was going to do. Um, the, weight, the weight of $20,000 at 21 years old felt like a million dollars is the way it felt. Um, I started it, after that I went and I started selling um, a, a product called Living Scriptures where that was like baby, basically animated Bible videos or Book of Mormon videos for children. And that was a really hard job and I was a very bad salesperson. Just to give you an idea, um, it was a straight commission job and they fired me. That's how bad I was at that job. Um, they, well, they tried to fire me because I didn't let them. I, I went back and said, hey, I promise you I will figure this out. I want to be good in sales. I want to be successful in sales. I feel like that would be the way that I could dig my way out of that hole that I had kind of dug myself into. So I went back and said, hey, give me another shot. I put everything I had into that. I worked very, very hard. Um, I was not naturally talented like a lot of people were in door-to-door -door or in sales. I wasn't. I had to work at it. I had to give it everything that I possibly could so that I could be successful. Uh, in Living Scriptures, I really probably never hit my stride. I was always learning. It was a hard product to sell, but I got a lot of really good training. I was approached by a guy um, named Jed who came and asked me to, um, to go sell Dish Network with him over the summer. Um, at the time I was dating my now wife. It was a big sacrifice, but I wanted to make that sacrifice because I felt like going there I could work really, really hard. Um, I went to Colorado Springs, work really, really hard, make the money back, pay off my grandpa, buy my wife a ring, and do the things I needed to do. I'll tell you guys, that summer I worked extremely hard. I was never late. Um, I, was never, I was never out late. I never came home early. Um, I worked really, really hard and I did just that. I went home and I paid back my grandpa. I sold really, really well. Paid back my grandpa, bought my wife a ring. 
um, and was able to, to move forward in my life and really alleviate a lot of the problems that I was having. A lot of you guys might be having the same deal. You might be in debt. You might be having monetary problems. You might be dealing with a lot of stuff. Guys, if, if you are dealing with stuff or if you want to change your life or you want to be a better place, you know, you want to be in a better place, there's no better place for you than Brio Energy. I promise you that. We take success very, very seriously and we take the success of our reps very, very seriously. So that's my story. That's why I'm here. That's why I love door-to-door -door sales and that's why I love being a part of Brio Energy is because it gives people the opportunity to dig themselves out of the hole that maybe they've dug themselves into like I did or maybe you haven't dug yourself into a hole and you just want to make a lot of money. So that's, that's why I'm here and that's my experience. Um, a couple things about, I'm going to write a few things here as we go through, um, but one thing you're going to find about Brio Energy is, is we pay better. Um, and that's important to know. Um, we pay better. And that's going to kind of go back. Why do we pay better? There's really two business philosophies and I want you guys to understand these because it's important to understand who Brio is um, so that you can understand what we expect. But one of the biggest things is we pay better. There are two kind of philosophies in business. Um, there's the philosophy of figure out exactly how much people need to make and pay them accordingly to what they need to make, right? So let's say you need to make $500. Okay, well, this, this guy needs to make $500 a week. We're gonna make it basically impossible to make $500 a week or make it so that he has to work every single minute of every single day just so he makes $500 a week and can pay his bills and lives paycheck to paycheck. Um, that's a very successful way of running a business, to be honest. There's lots of ways most companies run their businesses. They figure out what the average salesperson needs to make and then they make it so you have to bust your balls to barely make ends meet because they know that will keep you hungry. As long as you need to make the money, you'll continue to be hungry. That's not how Brio Energy works. Um, really, we pay better and we pay more so that you can change your life, so that you don't have to live paycheck to paycheck, right? The, the counter side to the way we do it of paying better is some people, because we pay better, they'll get lazy. Guys, I don't pay better so that you can get lazy. I pay better so that you can get ahead. That's why we pay better. So if you, if you want to come to Brio and you want to get lazier, then this is not the opportunity for you. If you want to come and still work hard and do your best, your absolute best, but instead of just living paycheck to paycheck and doing your best, here you can do your best and you can get ahead. And that's what I'm excited about. That's why I'm in business. That's why I do Brio Energy is to provide people an opportunity to get ahead, to put money in the bank, to not feel stress of money. That, that's really why I'm here. So we pay better so that you can get ahead. Not so you can get lazy. I can't stress that enough, okay? So that's one of the things that we expect you to hear. We expect you to do your absolute best because I want you to get ahead. I want you to make money. I want you to put money in a bank account. I want you to buy the cars you want. I want you to go on the vacations that you want. That's why we, we do this here. So we, we, there's really three core principles that we built Brio Energy on. Um, and I want to go through those and what they mean and what they meant to me when I was doing what, what you're doing, which is knocking doors and setting leads, okay? Um, along with that, I want you guys to understand, you know, I was talking a little bit about money. I want you to understand there's some people here who have knocked doors for Brio Energy who have made, an ama who have made amazing amounts of money. Um, uh, we, have, we had a guy who part-time, not even full-time, made $11,000 in a month working part-time at Brio Energy. A lot of our guys, um, a lot of our, our really good knockers part-time are still making about $1,000 to $1,500 a week. I can say everybody who's working hard and doing their best, that's what, that's what you can expect to make. You can expect to make part-time $1,000 here. Um, I'll just tell you we have SP1 leaders. And if, if, that's your, if you want to be an SP1 leader, we are always looking for SP1 leaders. Guys that exemplify what we, what we teach and what we're, we're trying to accomplish. There's nothing but open spots in the SP1 leaders. It may not be in Utah, but all across the US. And I'll just tell you, um, most of our SP1 leaders are making 2,500 to five grand a week. So if, if you really care and you want an opportunity and you want to make a lot of money, this is the place you want to be. The availability is definitely there for you to do it. Um, and that's really honestly what we require. We require people to come in and change their lives. So, so Brio was built on three core principles, the door knocking program, which really guys, that's what Brio is. 
Brio is a door knocking program, an, an opportunity for people to knock doors and get ahead and make money. And there's a couple key things that I require of everybody that works at Brio and the things that I really care about. And number one, I expect everybody at Brio to care like, care like I care. Now what does that mean to lead setters? Um, caring like I care, what that really means to you guys is guys, when I first started knocking doors, like I said, I got fired. Guys, I did, even though I wasn't very good at it, um, I did Living Scriptures all day. I thought about it all day. I worked on it all day. I, I really did. And, and really more, when I went and sold Dish Network, when I went out for the summer, guys, I, what, it, what it means to care is be out on time. Focus when you're out, focus when you're out there. Don't call your girlfriends and your, and your boyfriends and your whoever else you got to call. Get focused when you're out. Care like I care. Um, I'll tell you a story real quick. I went out my first day selling Dish Network. Guys, I was atrocious. I was terrible at it. Went out my first day. This, the first door I knocked, the guy actually lets me ride in, lets me give my pitch. He's not, even, he's, not, he's not weird about it or anything. He lets me ride in, lets me give my pitch, and I'm so nervous. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, like, I don't know. Um, uh, you have, okay, cool. Hey, let me think about, like, uh, let me see what I can do or something. I'll just buy, right? I didn't have a clue what I was doing. And my whole first day was like that. I went home that night and I literally studied all night. I think till 3, 4 in the morning. I studied Dish Network, DirecTV, TV, how it works, everything about Dish Network, DirecTV. I showed up my next manager meeting because we had, our, we had a meeting every single day. I went to my next meeting the next day with a list of 45 questions that I couldn't get answered online so that, I could, that I had to answer my, ask my, my manager. The nat, that day I went out, I sold three. The next day I sold four. The next day I sold five. And, and selling Dish Network accounts is probably the equivalent to setting two leads. So that, that's probably about where I was at. So I probably would have done six, eight, and ten really, really quick because that is kind of where I would, I would put that. But regardless, what I want you to know more about is how much I cared. I cared enough to spend the whole night studying. I cared a whole, enough to ask 45 questions while my whole group was annoyed at me for asking a bunch of questions. That's how much I cared. And I'm, I was constantly learning. Every single day I was getting better. I was taking time to get better. I really put my whole heart into that. And honestly, guys, there were 15 of us who went out that summer. Me and maybe two, three other guys were really successful. Everybody else went paycheck to paycheck. Guys, how successful you are deals so much more with how much you care, how much you're going to invest in it. Um, one thing that I'll tell a lot of people is being successful is not hard. Um, if you try to be successful, you will be successful. People who aren't successful simply because they don't try, simply because they don't care. Being successful is really not that hard. It really comes down to, are you going to be afraid? And, and, and this is, I mean, maybe you'll have fear of failure explained to you sometime, but I want to explain it real quick. Fear of failure isn't the fear of failing. Fear of failure is if you were to give your best and then fail, that would mean something about you, right? I don't believe that. I fail all the friggin' time. That's just, just normal. But you have a lot of people who have the paradigm or, or the, the thought, well, man, if I give this 100% and then I fail, that's going to mean something about me. It doesn't. It actually means more about you if you don't try. That's, that's really what I believe. But I expect you to care like I care. Okay? Number two, do your best. Do your best. Everybody's best is different. And everybody's best is different today than it is the next day. Um, you should be always getting better. Do your personal best. I just want to know, I want you guys to understand the philosophy of Brio Energy and kind of how, how we run things and how we feel about things. If I have two guys, let's say I have one guy who can set eight leads a day. And let's say I have another guy who can only really, because of his skill set and he's learning, can only set four leads a day. If the guy that can set eight is only setting four, I am going to let him go, okay? I'm only here to help people do their absolute best. If I have a guy that can do eight and he's doing four, he's done. If I have a guy who's doing four and, he's do, and, he's, and he can only do four, this is my favorite guy in the whole wide world. This is my best friend. People who do their best, they're my best friend. I don't care where the, what their best is, but doing their best, working their hours, doing what they're supposed to, that's my guy. That, uh, those guys are my best friends. Uh, every, every, people that do their best, I love, okay? So number two, do your personal best every single day, every single minute, okay? Number three. Number three. Sacrifice like I sacrifice.
Guys, I am willing to sacrifice whatever it takes to be successful. Not including doing things that are wrong, not including putting my family at risk. I love my family, I spend my time with my family, but when I'm working, I'm working, but when I'm with my family, I'm with my family. But really what I wanna talk about when I, when I mean sacrifice like I sacrifice. Guys, if you can imagine a young man, myself young, living in a trailer park, there would have been a lot of really bad paradigms or trainings that, that you get in a trailer park. What I found is for me to be successful, it wasn't so much the daily sacrifices it took to be successful, it was more the paradigm sacrifices that it took to be successful. You're gonna come in and you're gonna feel like you know something. You're gonna feel like you know how to do stuff. The more you're willing to sacrifice your old paradigms of the way the world works, of how hard it is to make money, or whatever those paradigms are, you need to be able to sacrifice paradigms if you wanna be successful. I, honestly, if there's a couple things I'm good at, number one, I'm very good at failing. I can fail and get up and fail and get up and fail and get up a million times. I'm really good at that. The other thing I'm very good at is sacrificing my old paradigms. I expect you, just like I do, to sacrifice your old paradigms about money, relationships, the way people think. You know, one of the first things I found when I was knocking doors is, you know, you knock your door and you feel like everybody's thinking about you. Well, who's this guy? What's he doing? The truth is they're not. They're thinking about themselves. That's one of the paradigms that I had to give up very, very quickly is very early on I learned nobody was thinking about me when I knocked their door. They were thinking about what I thought about them. The way I thought they were thinking about, they thinking about me. That's not true. They're thinking about them. So I don't have any room to be nervous or I don't even have to care about being nervous because they're already nervous themselves. So there's going to, as you're door knocking, as you're working with us, as you're working with Brio, there are going to be paradigms that I expect you to sacrifice. Maybe they're keeping you safe. Maybe, you know, believing that, you know, people can't make money, that keeps you safe because you don't have to try anymore. Those are the kind of things that I expect you to sacrifice. I expect you to sacrifice anything it takes for you to be successful. Time, um, effort, um, relationships, but really in a sense of during work time. I'll tell you one thing about me, guys, um, and, and I don't expect maybe, yeah, I do actually. I expect you guys to, to really be this way. I've found that over time, people that are successful, when it's work time, they work, and when it's, and when it's play time or home time, they're home and they play. I expect the same out of you. If, if you guys are, if, uh, honestly, I don't care if you're like, like, I don't care if people are mad at you. I don't care. I don't, at least I, I, when you're working, let's work, right? Like, like my wife, I let her know the only time she calls me during work is if it's an emergency. She has to call me three times in a row. If she didn't call me three times in a row. I know it's not an emergency and I won't answer the phone. Um, that's, that's what I expect of you guys as well. <coughs> this is kind of what I was going to say with that, the story I was going to tell. I kind of found that throughout my years of knocking and sales and success, things I've done, there are the, there's the type of person who has an emergency at home. Oh, I have this emergency. I got to go home. I got to fix it. The thing that they don't understand is if they would have just let that emergency handle itself, it probably would have handled itself by the time. Now, there's real emergencies, right? And I'm not talking about real emergencies, but most emergencies in people's heads my wife, whatever, or my girlfriend, whatever's going on, um, hey, I gotta go home. The truth is, or we're fighting. I gotta go fix this fight. I don't feel good. I gotta go home. I gotta fix this fight. The truth is, if you just go to work and work your day out, that fight is gonna fix itself by the time you get home. So you can either fix the fight and be broke, or you can fix the fight and have money, or, or the things you need, or whatever's going on. Um, and I expect that. So here are a few of the, the main core Brio principles. Again, I know that sounds a lot of hardcoreness stuff there. Congratulations for coming to Brio. We are very hardcore. We really are. But we, we love you. We care about you. We're here to help you be successful. And we're not going to make it easy because it's not easy. Um, it's easy as far as ethic and stuff like that. But, but you're going to need help. You're going to need managers. You're going to need people to help you be successful. And that's why you want to be at Brio. Everybody else is going to let you continue doing whatever you want. And they're going to, they're going to not require anything of you. And you guys have been there. You guys have worked for places like that where everybody shows up and does whatever and everybody goes home broke or, or pays off their paychecks and goes home. Um, this is a place where you can really get ahead, where you can move forward. If you, if you care about moving forward and, and making money and changing your life and being your best possible self, 
then you're in the right place and you're going to make money. So uh, that's it for, for this first training. Um, good luck out there. Again, I'm on Slack. Message me. I will help you in any way that I possibly can. Talk to you guys later. Bye.